play the winner of Harlan, who is 28 and 12 overall. They are 16 and 0 in district play. They are playing Edison, at, as a matter of fact, as we speak, because they were starting at 6 o'clock tonight. And Edison is 10 and 11 overall, 7 and 5 in district play. If you look at it on paper, most likely Harlan's going to be the one coming out on top there as they ran through their districts undefeated and they're 28 and 12 overall. That will happen from what Coach Sheila Henderson told me, the athletic director. She said, unfortunately, because of the way things are set up, that we will not be able to cover the ladies if they win tonight. We will not be able to cover them on Friday, obviously, because we have the football game to do. So um, they will have to advance into a uh, third round for us to get back and cover the girls again, and I believe that will happen next Tuesday. So where we're at, as I said, Anna Castro is the head coach of Harlandale. In their last three games, they lost to Seguin 3 to nothing. They beat McCollum San Antonio 3 to nothing, and then they beat Kerrville Tyvee in their last game 3 to 2. For Lockhart, the head coach, as we know, Alex Bothy. Our last three matches, we lost to Dripping Springs at home 3 to nothing. We then beat Lanier 3 to nothing and finished the season at home against LBJ where Rudy Cadillo had to help me out in that one as I had some insulin reaction problems, but we did manage to get the win three to one. We will probably pull Rudy in with us again tonight just to kind of, you know, kind of get another perspective of things as we go along. Right now, though, our team is QA, Mitchell Padgett. Mitchell, we appreciate you being with us tonight and everything that you do to make sure we sound okay. We are, again, at Steele High School here in Cibolo, and... It is a beautiful high school, very nice. Now, the weird thing about before the game was while Lockhart was warming up, they had a 15-minute warm-up period. That's when we had to quickly test and get our equipment tested because they kicked us out of the gym after that for when, for when Harlandale showed up. When Harlandale came in, uh, they kicked us out of the gym, and, uh, and no one could watch either team. No one could watch either team warm up. The crowd is filing in right now. It's going to be hard to tell who's Lockhart and who's um, Harlandale, but I have a feeling Lockhart has chosen to sit behind the stands or the, the bleacher or the benches, whereas Harlandale looks like they're on the other side. Again, it's kind of a central location, and this is kind of where they've decided to go. Now, real quickly, um, Real quickly, I'm going to go over the Harlandale uh, roster and just kind of give you names and numbers of the girls that are on that squad. So Harlandale High School 2018-19 varsity volleyball roster is as follows. Alexa Herta, number 11. Anna Tristan, number 6. Lillian Aguilera, 17. Serena Hernandez, number 7. Adrian Galavez, number 2. Mitsu Rodriguez, number 8. Alfara of Navarro, number 12. Diviana Rodriguez, number 16. Cassandra Morin, number one. Lily Aguilar, number 17. I checked that. That's, I understand they got they actually put her on the roster twice. I'm going to X one of those girls out because it's the same girl. It was one with a shorter name, and I like the shorter name better. Uh, we also have Naya Sanchez, number 13. Taylor Medina, number five. Marissa Fisher, number 18. Janelle Vargas, number 14. De Juve De Bosque, number four. Jacqueline Lopez, number 10. And Isabella Aguilar, number 15. As you know, the Lady Lions are as follows. Number one, Carla Cadillo, a junior. Number three, Callie Krenz, junior. Number four, Kia Young, a senior. Number five, Abby Ruggio, a senior. Number six, Laney Adair, a junior. Number seven, Brooklyn Miller, a senior. Number nine, Kaylee Reynolds, a junior. Number 10, Sydney Shaw, a senior. Number 13, Michaela Leva, a sophomore. And number 14, Kelsey Stevens, a senior. At the end of the match, we'll have the Chuck Nash offensive player of the game and also we'll have the Farm Bureau defensive player of the game. What we're going to do is we're going to take a real quick commercial break and when we come back, we'll do interviews from the senior girls and from head coach Bothy. I'm going to let McKelty take it away. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Wipe Magazine. 
Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. Now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here, Steele High School in Cibolo, Texas. And what I'm going to do now is set up my phone to where we can get the interviews down. And again, I got all the senior girls together tonight. And uh, I asked them all the same question. And you'll hear here what that question was. And also, um, after we get done with them, we'll go straight into coach's interview. So the girls talk for a minute 18. So senior parents, if you're wanting to hear this, you better listen quickly. All right, here we go. Here's the interviews for the senior girls. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network through KMAX Sports and Vibe Magazine. I'm here with the senior class of the Lockhart Lady Lions volleyball team. And uh, basically this question is, is to these girls, and it's the only question you're going to get tonight. They're doing this as a group, but they're going to go individually one at a time. So what we're going to ask them is the simple question, what does it mean to them to be the first team in 12 years to make the playoffs for Lockhart. So we will start out, state your name, and give us what it means to you. I'm Brooklyn Miller, and it means that our hard work and dedication has finally paid off. Thank you very much. I'm Kia Young, and it means absolutely everything to me because we finally did it. Very good. I'm Abby Rujo, and it means uh, um, everything that we've done and dreamed of and hoped for has finally came true. Very good. Hi, I'm Kelsey Stevens, and it means everything to me because we are a new team and we have improved so much. I'm Sydney Shaw, and it means a lot to us. We've been working hard every day this year, and it's good to finally get to playoffs. Very good. Ladies, I want to wish you all good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you. All right, well, that was the girls, and uh, I just wanted to do the senior girls tonight because, you know, you never know when your last game is going to be. And as a senior, it's very important that you get recognized. So I pulled all the seniors in for that interview. The next one is going to be a, about the same in length. And it's with head coach Alex Bothy. And here's what she had to say about Harlandell tonight. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, through Vibe Magazine. I'm here with Coach Alex Bothy, who's the coach, first coach to get Lockhart to the playoffs in 12 years. Coach, we're up against um, Harlandale. What do you know about this team? Um, from what I know so far is that they're a pretty scrappy team. Um, it's it's going to be a fight no matter what. So, um, And we've prepared all week by do, just playing our game. Again, we're worried about our side all the time. We are worried about doing our job, and so... Um, if we can worry about our side and focus and play our game, then we're going to be just fine tonight. That sounds great, and that's a good game plan to go with. My second question is this. Looked ahead, seeing who we might possibly play with a victory tonight, what can you tell me about those two teams? As of right now, it's looking like Harlan or Edison. Um, right now, Harlan is ranked one and Edison is four, so more than likely we'll play Harlan. Not to rule out Edison, but we'll have to see after tonight. Okay, and then the last question, who would you like to give a shout-out to? I'd like to give a shout-out to all of my players' parents. Um, they kind of they decorated the bus. They made the our walkout, just our send-off, just amazing. So I just wanted to shout-out them, and they've been doing a really good job, and they've raised such amazing girls. All right, well, I appreciate your time, Coach Bothy. Good luck to you. Thank you. 
Thank you, ladies. All right, and that was Coach Bothy. That's what she had to say about tonight's game. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hand that back to McKelty so when we run commercials, we'll be able to get that done. So what we, what we have at stake here, winner moves on, loser goes home, and they're done for the year. As I said before, Coach Sheila Henderson told me before the game that no matter what happens tonight, there is a 100% chance to play Friday only. They're not going to play Thursday. They're not going to play Saturday. It'll be Friday only. Unfortunately, with us doing football, we will not be able to cover the game Friday. So what the girls will have to do is win tonight, play Friday, and win then, and then we'll jump right back on the ship because I think their next match is next Tuesday if they can get that far. But let's not jump all those hurdles till we get through the one that we're getting ready to play, and that is the Harlem Del um, Indians here. We are getting very close to the opening, so we're going to go ahead, get some more of our sponsors in, and we'll be right back. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAT Sports Group Vibe Magazine. Masters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Christ's Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Christ's Market ships nationwide. Stop by Christ's Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, Christmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler since 2002. Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at Steele High School, a very beautiful high school. As we are getting ready to play our match the referees are kind of talking. I don't know how far we are from game time, though, because, oh, wait, I heard a whistle, so I think we may be getting there. Once we get a rolling, we have Rudy. He's actually filming the game, so he's going to do a little filming, do a little talking, so he'll do as he goes when he's on the headset. I'll let him give some insight. McKelty, you're doing play-by-play, -play, is that correct? No. No, okay. <laughs> I was just checking. Just want to keep you on your toes. So I'll be giving you the play-by-play. -play. Um, you know, we <laughs> joke about it now. wasn't funny at the time. But last, last match, our last match of the season, Rudy Cadillo stepped in and did an amazing job as play-by-play -play guy as I decided to space out with my diabetes in the third match, carrying into the fourth match. And he did a fantastic job and, um, and was able to, I was able to get back in and finish it up. But uh, we came prepared tonight, so we aren't going to have that issue again. Um, again, I'm not real sure other than they're right now talking to the players and the coaches or the captains and the coaches, and we'll see what they're going to do. They're going through the, the ritual. But what was weird when we got in here was the fact that they did not let anybody in the gymnasium to, during warm-ups. Uh, it kind of shocked Coach Henderson. She'd never seen anything like it before, and um, it was kind of somewhat agreed upon before the match. And so we had to hurry through our practicing or our, our testing because they said once Harlandale got in here, they were not going to let us be in the gym. So we had to hurry up and practice. I appreciate um, Midget pa uh, Mitchell Paget for listening in for us because without him, who knows what would happen. And it looks like we are now at five minutes before we're going to get any kind of playing going on. So we're still easily five minutes, if not 10, away from game time. So I guess with us being so far away from game time, I thought we were getting ready to start. I guess we'll go ahead and we're just going to knock out as many of our, our uh, sponsors as we can because as we all know during a volleyball match, 
you don't have much time for sponsorship. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. McKelty, take it away. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Is here to help you with personal or business tax return preparation, payroll processing, business financial statements, or consulting for accounting software. Kevin is a longtime QuickBooks Pro advisor. At Kevin Mills CPA, relationships are the cornerstone of our business. All new clients receive a free half hour consultation to ensure we get our relationship started on the right foot. Begin your relationship with Kevin Mills CPA by calling 512 376 4212 or find him on the web at kevinmillscpa.com. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body, we won't steer you wrong. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. You can tell the pit masters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Christ's Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Christ's Market ships nationwide. Stop by Christ's Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, Kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. All right, we're back here at Steel High School, a very beautiful high school it is in Cibolo, Texas where we have 5A Region 4, District 26, Harlandell Indians, who come into the match tonight at 16 and eight overall, eight and six in district play. And then our Lady Lions of Lockhart, who come in at 28 and 10, 12 and two in district play. They are from Class 5A Region 4, District 25. A win tonight, and they'll be playing on Friday. A loss for whoever, and they're going home and they're done for the year. So all the all everything's at stake tonight for this big one. We are under a minute, or actually we're down under 10 seconds. We'll see if this is the end or if they're going to reset and do some more. And I'm watching. Nope, they're switching sides. So we're going to go through five more minutes of this. So again, we'll cover some more stuff that we've already talked about, but we definitely want to make sure that. Uh, Everybody knows what led up to this last three matches for everybody involved. For Harlandale Indians, head coach Anna Castro in charge there. They're, they're, uh, they lost to Seguin 
three to nothing. They beat McCollum San Antonio three to nothing, and they they beat Kerrville Tyvee three to two. On the other side, we lost to Dripping Springs at home three to nothing. All of those matches were tight. We beat Lanier three to nothing, and then we beat LBJ on our last game at home for the seniors on senior night, three to one. We are learning as we go here with the volleyball playoffs because for those of you that are not aware, this is the first time in 12 years that the Lady Lions have been in the playoffs. And that is a long time, folks. That is a very long time. So it's good to have them in the playoffs. Uh, we're kind of mixed with our seniors and sophomores as far as leadership roles go. So even though we graduate some really talented players from this team, we have a lot of talented players coming back as well. So real quickly, I do want to kind of touch on our senior class. I had a young lady from Harlandale. I bought her a drink, and I told her to get me a water, and she was kind enough to do that for me, so I appreciate it. So here we go. Kia Young, number four. The girl, she brightens a room with her smile. She's great defensively, and she is fun to watch play. Very athletic. One of our seniors there. Number five, Abby Ruggio, who pretty much leads the team in almost – every category possible with the exception of digs and we kind of know who does that stuff but abby ruggio again plays a lot of club ball she's always playing volleyball she uh has been a goalkeeper for the soccer team a good tall left-handed athlete and uh, pretty much leads almost every category that we have brooklyn miller senior the other night brooklyn miller was the offensive player of the game because of her service um, she just, when she's on a roll serving, she, she gets on a roll. And she was laying the hammer down the other day. So good at hitting the ball, good at uh, keeping things alive. And Brooklyn Miller, one of the seniors of this team. Also, number 10, Sydney Shaw. Very, very good volleyball player. Good at the net, good defensively. And the funny thing about her is basketball is her best sport. That's how good of an athlete this young lady is is that she can dominate a sport like basketball and she dominates at volleyball as well. So she is multi-talented and being as tall as she is and as athletic as she is, she's just a good strong presence at the net. Then you go to the last senior in uh, Kelsey Stevens. Again, another player that when she gets on a roll with the service, things, things happen. She's all over the court, she works extremely hard and she's just a good person to have around. Again, another one of those hard-working ladies. Then we're going to touch on our junior class. We have Carla Cadillo. And again, if you've never seen this girl play a single sport, she plays soccer. She also plays uh, volleyball. And the one thing that you'll always note about her is nobody on the court or on the field is going to back down. She's the, she's the one. I don't even know. I'm thinking from my old days, Mighty Mouse. I mean, she's not very tall, but she don't give up. She doesn't back down. She will dive into stands for balls and also has a very nice service for us. One of the leaders in the area in digs, it's good to have her in that back line. Then we have number three, Callie Krenz, another junior. This girl plays every sport imaginable to a person. I don't even know if there's a sport in high school that she does not play other than football. And she does probably play that on the weekends. So this girl does it all. She's five foot three. She plays like she's six foot four because she can jump out of a gym. She's an incredible athlete, great kid, hard working kid. And uh, again, you know, you say she's really good at volleyball. Soccer and basketball are two of her strong sports. So again, another uh, multifaceted athlete that can do a lot of things for us. Um, Let's see, the next junior, Laney Adair. She, she has her moments of playing time here and there, but every time she's been on the court the other night when we were playing LBJ, she actually put a lot of service in for us and helped us when things were getting a little dicey out there. And it's good to have her out there. I was watching her serve before the game. She has a good serve. She's a good player. She's a hard worker. And uh, it, it's a good to have a player like her on the team. Kaylee Reynolds comes on for us. And this girl can flat 
kill the ball. She will hammer it down. I remember this year watching a match in which she spiked the ball off a girl's head, and I wasn't sure the girl was going to come back to and know what was even going on. She hit the ball so hard. It is nice to have Kaylee Reynolds because she can do those kinds of things with her service, uh, with her uh, her kills, and also has a good serve, and she's really good defensively at the net as well. And then we go all the way to the lone player. I've only seen her play one time. She doesn't get a whole lot of playing time, but to be a sophomore on a varsity team, as stacked as our varsity team is, uh, Michaela Leva, that says a lot to be a sophomore playing on this roster because this roster is very talented. So hard worker, gets after it. And I remember when I gave her an interview against LBJ, she told me that she loved watching the girls play. She's learned a lot and uh, she's just, it's a special moment for her because she's soaking it all in right now so that when she becomes a junior, she'll be able to get on the floor and, and lead the younger girls that come up behind her. So it's always great to have the senior leadership that we have. Then we'll switch gears again and we'll go to head coach Alex Bothy who started her first year with his last year. Um, you know, the team was not a bad team. We were in a very tough district, um, you know, and we, we, we struggled to get out of the district, but the girls were always battling and things like that. But the thing that I noticed just as an ex-coach and uh, just kind of watching these Lockhart girls play the improvements that they have made from last year to this year is absolutely amazing. What they have done as a group says a lot about the coach and the players themselves. Again, we've got some talented girls. We've got some girls that play club. Uh, uh, Abby Ruggio has already made a commitment to a college to play volleyball. So we've got talent. It's there. It looks like we might actually be getting ready to play some volleyball. So again, we'll have uh, Rudy Cadillo bouncing back and forth in between his filming, his being a fan of his daughter, and every once in a while coming in and giving us some insight on the match as well. Also, he guess he is on Facebook Live. He was kind of doing some filming and stuff, so I think that is on Facebook Live for us. Now, as far as their roster, Harlandells, I had to hand write it out, and the numbers were given to me in different order, so I will do my best to stay on top of that. We're kind of in the usual situation. We're at the very end of one side of the court, and uh, it'll be sometimes hard to see, but I'm standing up, and I'm going to make sure we get this happening here. want to give a shout-out to all you that are listening tonight's matchup. Again, like I said, unfortunately, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna call it now. After we win tonight, the girls will be playing on Friday. Unfortunately, though, we have the football game, so we will not be able to do that game on the air. So what we're gonna have to have and hope for is that the girls get the W tonight. They get the W on Friday, so we can get back Tuesday and and cover them again. But we're getting ready for the national anthem. We'll let you listen in on that.
All right, so we're back and ready to go. They're getting ready to do some announcing here. Kind of looking at my. They're announcing the starting line or the lineups right now. So here we go. We have the student section of Harlandale right beside us, so hopefully they don't drown me out too badly. <laughs> That's a pretty good student section over here. A lot of people here tonight. Rightly so for Lockhart. Again, the first time in 12 years the girls have been here. So I am real quickly trying to get all the numbers here highlighted so I can find them easy. So we're getting ourselves ready to go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Abby Ruggio with the first serve is set up. They're going for the kill. Nice dig there by Cadillo. Ruggio. Over it goes. Just dropped my paper. That was nice. A nice kill there by number 12. That was Alfara Navarro with the kill right down the middle. I apologize as I dropped my paper with the names on it. Right in the big kill. So it's one to nothing. And it, the service will now go over to Harlandale. Serving for them is number 10. That's Lopez. Cadillo with the dig. Over to Ruggio. Nice job there with the kill. Brooklyn Miller, the senior, kills it home, making it one-to-one. -one. Service goes back to Lockhart. We have Callie Krenz, junior, jump serve on the way. Good job. Lopez gets it up front. They're going for the kill with number 12. That is Navarro. She couldn't get it to go. Shot the net. Over to Reynolds, nice dig in the back line. They're gonna go with the back, back line kill. Doesn't go, Ruggio gets it to Reynolds. It's blocked, 
and it's a double hit. No, they're going to call her with uh, in the net on that one. So a net violation. Great job there by Reynolds up front. Two to one. Krenz with the serve. There we go. Lopez gives it to number three. And that was, uh, again, their numbers are all in different orders. That was Aldrete, and she went long with it. So it's three to one. Lady Lions on top. Krenz with the jump serve again. Lopez with the dig. Over it goes for the kill. It's blocked at the net as they tried to go to Aldrete up front. Reynolds with her kill, and it goes down. Reynolds gets her kill. It's now four to one. And right now, Kaylee Reynolds, the junior, has taken over at the front of the net. Callie Krenz is on a roll here in the back service. Here's the jump serve. Nice job by Lopez. They'll get it over the top, looking for the kill, and it's in. Great job there by Alfara Navarro as she's found a spot in our defense in the back line, and she kills it for the second time. It's now 4-2. to two. Lady Lions on top, and the girl with the kills now going to be serving. Alfara Navarro, left-handed serve. Krenz with it, over to Ruggio, to Reynolds. And she goes a little bit long, so it will be four to three. Lockhart on top. Reynolds tried to go with it. She was just about a foot and a half long with the kill. Navarro, nice dig there, or dig by Reynolds. They give it to Shaw, and it goes long. And I gotta get used to these lines because I keep thinking the gray line is the out of bounds line, it's actually not. Four to four right now. Navarro still serving. Cadillo, Ruggio, Miller. Back they go with it. Miller with the block. But it goes, oh, nice job by Ruggio. Cadillo sends it over the net. Great job. Over they go with the dink. Ruggio dives, brings it up to Shaw. Reynolds, and it's long. A great job there by the Lady Lions, but she wasn't able to get anything with it. Five to four, Harlandell on top. Navarro still in service. Reynolds to Ruggio, and she can't get it over the net. That makes it six to four. Lady Lions are now down. Navarro still in service. She got a kill, and now she's kind of dominant there. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller. The kill doesn't go as they were able to dig it up. Reynolds over. And they're going to say we have a, a net violation, and so we will get the ball back. Six to five, Lady Lions are down. Cadillo checks out. Kia Young checks in. And it'll be Sidney Shaw serving down six to five. There we go. Navarro. They give it up. It's over to Krenz. Down to Miller, and Miller goes long. Ruggio set her up, but Miller hit long. The kills are going long for us right now. We're down seven to five. Going to have some substitutions going in. I do apologize in the names for Harlandale because their roster that was given to me, the numbers are all jumbled up and I'm trying to find who's who and who's where. Number five is going to be in service. That is Taylor Medina. Ruggio to Young and Young with the kill. Nice set by Ruggio. Young with the kill. It's seven to six now. Service goes back to Lockhart. And it will be Brooklyn Miller, the senior, serving now. Nice job there by Lopez. They'll get it over to number three. And it is in. Nice kill there by Miranda Aldrete, making it eight to six. So far, the kills have been better off for Harlandale than they have been for Lockhart. Lockhart's getting a little long, probably a little overexcited right now. Just need to calm down a little bit. It will now be number three, Aldretti serving. Miller to Ruggio. They're able to bring it up. They're going to try to go along with Navarro. Miller to, to who was it? Oh, that was uh, Reynolds that went long. So yet another, the, the set wasn't real strong, and she went long with the kill. It's now 9-6, to six, Harlandell on top. Here we go again with the serve. That is Aldretti. Miller to Ruggio, Aldretti digs it up. Up to number five there. Nice job by Reynolds to dig it out. 
They're going to try to save it. Good job. Both teams hustling all over the place. Prins with it. Miller, Ruggio, there's the block. And at the net, they try to get the kill with number 13, Aldretti. Um, check that. With Sanchez, and she goes long. That was a back and forth furious pace there. It's now 9-7, to seven, Harlandell on top. And it's now going to be Kelsey Stevens, the senior, who will get, be giving service. 9-7 is the score. Nice job there by Lopez. They're going to try to get a kill, and they get just that. Diviana Rodriguez, right-handed kill. She brought the hammer down on that one. 10-7, Harlandale. That'll bring up number one, Cassandra Morin, and she's going to do her jump serve. She hits the net. It falls in, but it goes out of bounds. So 10 to 8 is the score. Now Carla Cadillo, the junior, will be serving for Lockhart. Nice serve, Lopez with the dig. They're going to go with the set. They try to get the kill, and they get it. Again, number 16, Diviana Rodriguez gets the kill. It's 11 to 8. She doesn't have a lot of hang time in the air, but when she hits it, she hits it with power. That'll bring up number two now, Adriana Galavez, as she is serving. Cadillo with it. Miller, Krenz, they're able to get the save there. And another kill this time, Alfera Navarro, the left-handed kill. Timeout, Lockhart. It's 12 to 8, Harlandale. We're going to take us a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bright Magazine. First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back at Steel High School in Cibolo, Texas, where it is 12 to 8. Harlandale Indians are on top. These girls don't mess around. They have been just as scrappy as Lockhart. The difference in this match so far, though, have been the kill consistency is better for the Indians than it has been for the Lady Lions. Lockhart now comes out of the huddle, getting themselves ready to roll here in game one. And it will be number two serving still. That is Adriana Galavez. Lockhart fans starting to get into it now. Galavez serve is on the way. Stevens with it to Miller. Back to Stevens. It's a free ball. They're going to set it up. And what a play there by number 12, Alfara Navarro. She knew she didn't have a good set. So she dinked it over our front line. It's now 13 to eight. Harlandale on top. Galavis will go ahead and serve again. It's in the back line. Stevens with it to Ruggio, to Krenz. They kept it alive. It goes back over. Cadillo digs it. Miller to Shaw. They are able to keep it alive again. Nice hit there. Miller sets up Shaw, and Shaw puts down the kill, and the Lady Lions got fired up with that one. It's now 13-9. Harlandale is on top, but I'm hoping that kill got him fired up because they sure looked there. Ruggio back to service. Left-handed jump served by Ruggio. Nice hit. They're going to get the ball to Lopez. Nice block by Shaw at the net. Here they come with Alfera. No good there. Miller with the deep over the top line. It's in. 13 to 10. The Lady Lions get another point. You've got two scrappy teams wanting this game tonight. This is not going to be easy for anybody. Ruggio's jump serve goes straight into the net. That'll make it 14 to 10. So now serving for them will be number 10, Jacqueline Lopez. Lopez jump serve. Krenz gets it to Ruggio, to Shaw, and she knocks it home with the kill. 
14 to 11. Lady Lions won't go away. They're doing a good job of staying in this one. We need to make a run though. We got Callie Krenz up serving. Hopefully that'll be the time to make the run. Krenz's hit is in. It's set by Lopez. Over with the dink. Nice job there by Miranda Aldretti as she dinked it over our front line. That'll make it 15 to 11. Harlandale back on top. And that'll bring number 12, Alfara Navarro. She's the one that got the majority of these points the last time she served. Cadillo, Terugio, to Reynolds, a block at the net. Shaw puts it over the net. Lopez, with the, there's the kill, and it's in. Nice kill there by Naya Sanchez. As Krenz tried to dive to get to it, couldn't get to it. That makes it 16 to 11, Harlandale. And it's gonna be number 12 still, service. There's the serve, Cadillo. Miller runs it down. Krenz puts it over the net. They'll set it up. Here comes the kill, block of the net by Shaw. Ruggio sets it up. Miller with the hit, but it goes out of bounds. It'll go to Harlandale. Miller tried to spike it diagonally and it hit the, the, the pole and it went out of bounds. So they're gonna call timeout again. 17-11, Harlandale, we're gonna take a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Johnny & Sons Pain Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at Steele High School in Cibolo, Texas, over a kind of in the shirts area of Texas. Beautiful high school, very big. 17 to 11, Harlandale. Lockhart's gonna have to catch fire. The crowd on both sides making some noise. Winner moves on to Friday, loser goes home and they're done for the year. Navarro will be doing her serve. She's the left-hander. It hits the net and it falls in. It's 18 to 11. Navarro has been their go-to person so far tonight. Here she goes again with the jump serve. It's over the net. Ruggio tries to dink it over, and they're going to call Ruggio with a, a net violation. It's now 19-11, and this one's starting to slip away right now. Navarro serves again. They're going to set up Shaw, and Shaw with a beautiful, beautiful kill there. That put us back into business, 19-12. I had to reach out and save the ball from... Hitting computers and whatnot. 19 to 12, Shaw with the kill, and now she has service. Nice dig up there by Lopez. They're gonna set the table, and it goes out of bounds as that was Aldrete trying to get the kill, and she hit it too far, making it 19 to 13. Let's see if Shaw can get something going for us. There's the hit. Navarro, they're gonna set up. And they get it in there. A nice kill there by Serena Hernandez. She split our backline defenders, making it 20 to 13 right now. Hollandale on top. <clears throat> so now we have number five in service. That is Medina. Miller to Ruggio to Miller. Lopez digs it up. They're setting up the kill. Nice block there by Young. Nice block by Kia Young at the net. 20 to 14 is your score. And you can tell this game means something because normally Kia Young is smiling from ear to ear. She's all about business tonight. Miller serve, goes into the net. It's 21-14, Harlandale. Can't make many more mistakes here. Or we'll be handing them the first match. Miranda Aldretti with the serve. Krenz to Miller to Young, and she gets a nice kill off that one. She went across court with it. 
So Kia Young gets the kill. 21 to 15 is your score. We need to go on a run right now. And we have Kelsey Stevens, the senior, getting ready to serve. And it, oh, it's just about a foot long on the service. 22 to 15, Harlandale. So our kills have been a little bit off and our serves have been a little bit off so far. And that's been the difference in the match right now. Number one, Cassandra Morin will be serving. Jump serve. That is Stevens to Miller to Ruggio. They're going to call a net violation on Ruggio. 23 to 15. Lady Lions are down. Here's that jump served by Morin. Stevens, Ruggio, and it goes into the net, making it 24-15. We are now at game point. Cassandra Morin and her jump serve for the game here. Ruggio puts it over the net. Lopez with the dig. Here comes the kill from Navarro. Cadillo gets a hold of it, but it goes over her head, and it goes out of bounds. 25 to 15 is how the first game will come to an end. Harlandale wins game one, 25-15. We're going to go to a quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Vibe Magazine. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we are back here at Steel High School in Cibolo, Texas. The two student sections are kind of jawing at it right now. <laughs> Game one, the Lady Lions, I don't know if it's the nerves of making it for the first time in 12 years or, or exactly what the deal was, but that just wasn't our Lady Lions. That wasn't them. The service was off. The kills were long. Um, hopefully we'll be able to bounce back in this one, get that nerves out of the way, and get ourselves ready to go. Again, this is a really nice high school. So I'm listening. I'm just listening to the student sections. I don't know if you can hear them in the background, but they're both making some noise here. Coach Brian Herman, the football coach, is here tonight as he's watching the student section. This is, this is definitely playoff time. This is playoff time. People are into the game. There's a lot of people here tonight. These in-between game times are a lot longer than we're used to in the regular games, that's for sure. McKelty's taking pictures and things of her classmates. Have an interesting story about McKelty. As I was leaving town today, coming to the game, we uh, we realized she texted me to let me know. She says, "What do I do? I'm not on the bus, and the bus has left." So I flipped a UE on the highway and went back to the high school to pick her up. <laughs> so McKelty will get to go home with the team, but I had to go back to the high school, pick her up, and bring her down here. We still made it in plenty of time. So right now they're waiting on Lockhart to get on the court. As I said before, the Lions or the Indians won the first match 25 to 15, but that's out the window. Who cares right now? All that matters now is winning three games. And it looks like they'll be going with Galavis as their opening service person. So again, if you can hear everything in the background, 
you can hear the student sections getting into it. It was never this loud during the regular season. Giving a shout out to Mitchell Padgett for being our QA tonight, appreciate that. Cadillo gets it to Miller, to Shaw, they block it at the net. It's uh, Miller to Krenz, they dig it out of the back with Lopez. Here comes the kill from Navarro, Cadillo's there to dig it out. Miller to Ruggio, and the kill goes long. So we're just going long with all of our kills so far. One nothing, Harlandell on top in game two. Galavis serves it right into the net, giving it right back to Lockhart. It's one to one right now. We got some football players over there. I know softball girls show up to these games. Got a lot of folks here in the student section. Ruggio serves it. Lopez with the dig. They're going to set up Galavan. Oh. They're gonna say that we got into the net again. So a net violation by Lockhart, and it's now two to one, Harlandale. Navarro has been a big story for them tonight. The left-hander has played well. Here comes a serve by uh, Navarro in the back. Good job, good dig, good kill up front. Navarro sends it home, three to one, Harlandale on top. It is number 10, Jacqueline Lopez serving in the back. Here's her jump serve. Stevens to Ruggio to Krenz. Lopez is there to dig it. Here they come the other side. And it goes off of Cadillo. And that was Miranda Aldretti again with the kill. It's now four to one Harlandale and they're out running again. We have got to get a stop on these girls. Lopez will serve again. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio to Shaw. They are able to keep it alive with Lopez. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio to Miller. A block at the net, but it falls in. They did a good job there as Hernandez tried to block it, but it went straight down and fell to the ground. Four to two, Harlandell on top. Callie Krenz will have service for us. The five foot three junior. Again, 5-3 that plays like she's 6-4. Here's the service, and it's going to go long, 5-2. I just, I think they're just a little over-keyed up here as everything's going long. Serves are going long. Kills are going long. Navarro now will serve. She did damage to us in the first game. Reynolds can't get it going. Krenz with a nice dive, but she couldn't get to it. It's now six to two, Harlandell. It's the best three out of five in these matches. Navarro, the left-handed service. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio dinks it over the net, and there you have it. Six to three, nice job by Abby Ruggio. Cadillo checks out, Young checks in, and Shaw will be serving for us. Oh, and it goes into the net again. Seven to three. Our service has been a big issue tonight for us. Every time we get a chance to come back, we hit it right in the net. Seven to three right now, Harlandell on top. And now they have number five, that is Medina serving for them. Cadilla digs it up, Ruggio to Young, dinks it over, they dig it back up. And Navarro, Ruggio digs it up. Miller dinks it over the top. Oh, they called us for a double hit. He pointed like we got the point, but they get the point. It's now eight to three, timeout called by Lockhart. We're gonna take a quick break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and came out sports through White Magazine. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. 
Now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at Steel High School in Cibolo, Texas. I want to give a shout out to Christine Moya Martinez as she's listening tonight. Give a shout out to my mom and dad in San Marcos, Texas. And I'm still looking for other folks. I haven't seen anything yet. It is eight to three, Harlandale, as they are on top. They won the first game 25 to 15. And it is going to be Medina still with service. Lockhart trying to stop the bleeding so they can get back in this contest. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio to Young. A block at the net. Kranz gets it. Ruggio to Miller. Miller with the kill. Great job there by Miller. Great set by Ruggio. Eight to four. That'll bring up number seven, Brooklyn Miller, the senior with service. They're going to get set. Here comes the kill by Aldretti. Aldretti goes long with it, and it is now eight to five. The Lady Lions are clawing their way back into this one. Brooklyn Miller with service still. There she goes, Navarro. Here comes the set, long distance. It was blocked at... Oh, I thought Abby Ruggio touched it at the net. They said she did not. It went long. That makes it eight to six. The Lady Lions are right back in it. Brooklyn Miller, the senior, doing a good job with service now. Here comes the set. Aldretti dinks it, and she drops it home. Krenz tried to die for it, but she couldn't get there in time. Nine to six. Harlandale Indians on top. They took the first game 25 to 15. They lead nine to six right now in game two. It is now gonna be Aldretti with the service. Krenz, Miller, Reynolds, and Reynolds gets the kill. Job there by Miller to set the table for. It's now nine to seven. So it'll be Kaylee Reynolds, the junior. She gets the kill, now she has the serve. Um, Navarro gets it. Nice block of the net by Young. They're going to go over to the other side. And a good job there by number 13, Naya Sanchez. Got a kill, but it looked to me more like a dink, if you want to call it that. Making it 10-7. to seven. The Lady Lions are down three. And that will bring up number one, Cassandra Morin. Cadillo to Miller. Ruggio with the big hit. And they're going to, it went out. Okay, the referees got together and it went out. So Lockhart will get the ball. Harlandale's coach does not like it and the Harlandale student section is booing. <laughs> so now the referees are going to talk about it. That thing went out of bounds. I can see it from here and I'm in no way, shape or form in a good angle. And our, our head coach over there, Brian Herman from the football team, was making sure he knew that, it, that everybody knew that it went out of bounds. So we're still here. At, we'll see what he calls. And it does go to Lockhart. So Kia Young with a great play. She's smiling now. We're back in this ball game, and it's time for Carla Cadillo, the junior, to start doing what she does best, and that's serve us some points. There she goes with the serve. Almost got the ace, and she's going to get a point out of it anyways. Ten to nine. Cadillo is jacked now. Everybody's starting to get a little fired up here from Lockhart. It's ten to nine. Lockhart's right back in this. So Carla Cadillo, the junior. Her service again. Nice job. They're getting ready to set. Navarro, she dinks it over. Good job by Miller. Oh, but it gets into the net. It gets into the net. It goes 11-9 now. Going to do some uh, substitutions here. Lockhart still in the ballgame here as they fought their way back. Adriana, Adrian 
Galavis is in now in. She was the girl that first started with the service. Cadillo with a great dig. Miller to Krenz. Krenz with a kill. Nice dig there. They are able somehow to keep it alive. Miller to Krenz again. She dinks it. They dig it up. Good job, Lopez. They, they go for the kill. Reynolds with the dig. Ruggio. That's still alive. Harlandale will not go away. Cadillo gets it. Miller. Ruggio. And she puts it home. Great job by Ruggio. Miller with a good set. 11 to 10. And now it's going to go back to our senior left-handed jump server, Abby Ruggio. 11 to 10. The girls look like they may be in relaxed mode now. They're not quite so tense. Here comes the set, and it's a double hit. A double hit. We're all tied up. He calls it a lift. I'm calling it a double hit. At this point, it doesn't matter, but the Harlandale coach does not like it. It's 11 to 11. The Lady Lions have fought their way back into this one. Abby Ruggio, left-handed senior, with the service. What an ace! Abby Ruggio with the ace. A beautiful serve by senior Abby Ruggio. Lockhart's on top, 12 to 11. Abby's smiling now, so it's, it's on. It's on. Oh, and then she gets a little rambunctious and hits it in the net. 12 to 12. Service is going to go back over to number 10, Jacqueline Lopez, with the score tied up. Krenz. Ruggio dinks it. They block it right back. They're going to try to go to Ruggio. She uh, sends it long just to get reset. Here comes Lopez from the back. Cadillo gets it over to Ruggio. Krenz. Krenz gets a nice hit, and she gets the kill. They tried to dig it up, but it went out of bounds. That makes it 13-12, to 12, the Lady Lions. And with the kill from Callie Krenz, she's now got the service. The junior will get ready for her jump serve. They, Lopez digs it up. They dink it over the net. Ruggio to Shaw. They blocked at the net. Lopez gets it. They're going to hit to Navarro. Navarro to Cadillo with the dig. Ruggio with a great job. Miller with it. Back and forth we go. Lopez. Aldretti. Miller picks it up. Krenz to Reynolds. It's back and forth. Aldretti. And it goes out of bounds. It went out of bounds. It went out of bounds. And it goes to Lockhart. It's 14 to 12. The Lady Lions. I saw that one as clear as day. That went out of bounds. Harlandale doing some booing. And it's 14 to 12. Cali Crins will get service again. Time to go on that run. I'm glad that my, my sidekick, Senior McKelty, Altier isn't getting too jacked up about this as her classmates are going to work. Krenz with a nice serve. Can they get it back, though? Navarro gets it over the net. Nice dig there by Miller to Krenz to Reynolds. Reynolds gets it back over. They're going to go for the kill with Navarro. Nice job there by Ruggio to Miller to Krenz. What a dig, though. And out of bounds. Krenz gets the kill. It's 15 to 12, the Lady Lions. What a great job by the Lockhart Lady Lions. All of a sudden, it's like it just started clicking for them. Callie Krenz, the junior, with the service. Almost got the ace. Navarro, good job there by Miller. Ruggio goes along with it. Lopez gets it. They're going to set up Aldretti, and Aldretti gets it. She got the kill. Aldretti is a great hitter, and she got a kill. It's 15-13. to 13. Lady Lions on top. Navarro, the girl that's been killing us all night, will be serving. The left-handed service of Navarro. Reynolds gets it. Krenz. Ruggio over to Reynolds. Somehow it falls in. It was not a good set, and somehow she leaned way back, and the arc of the ball, whatever, it fell in, 
Reynolds will get the kill, but it wasn't pretty. <laughs> 16 to 13, Lady Lions on top. Sydney Shaw, the senior, will be serving. Lopez dives for it, gets it up there. Here comes the kill, and Young blocks it up at the net. Young is smiling. This is what we needed to see as the girls having a good time. Navarro calls a timeout. The Lady Lions are up 17-13. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports Group Vibe Magazine. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, KreitzMarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z Market.com. No sauce. No forks, just good taste naturally. All right, we're back here at Steele High School where the Lady Lions have finally woke up. I don't know where they were in game one and part of game two, but they have woke up here midway through the game and have taken a 17 to 13 lead. These are the Lady Lions I've seen and love. Sydney Shaw, the senior, star basketball player, star volleyball player with the service. Job there by Aldretti. They're getting ready to set her back up. It was a long. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio with a dink. And Ruggio gets it home with the dink. It's 18 to 13, Lady Lions. Ruggio is so smart up there at the net. She can beat you with the kill, but she made it look like she was going to set it and went ahead and dinked it in. 18 13, Lady Lions on top here in game two. Sydney Shaw with the service. Lopez gets it. They're going to set Aldretti. She dinks it over, and she dinks it in. Aldretti is also a great player for Harlandale. 18 to 14 now is the score. These are two very similar teams. They both are very scrappy. They both have good hitters. They've got some really good athletes on both sides. Here comes the service. Miller with it. To Ruggio, back to Miller. Lopez digs it up. They're going to get Aldretti. Krenz digs it up. Aldretti finds the sideline, though, and hits it home. 18 to 15 is the score. Taylor Medina doing a good job with service tonight for them. They are all wearing pink headbands. Here comes Medina's serve. It's long. 19-15, Lady Lions on top. And that will make it to where senior Brooklyn Miller will be in service. Brooklyn Miller got us started in this game with her service. Navarro, they're going to try to set up Aldretti. Ruggio, Ruggio with the block. Ruggio up the net. She said, this is my house. No, thank you. 20-15, Great job there by Abby Ruggio, the senior. Brooklyn Miller gets it to Navarro. Reynolds at the net, and they're going to say they had a net violation. 21-15. Now the Lady Lions are starting to roll here. If they can keep this going, things are going to be looking good. Miller hits it into the net as I say that, though, and it's now 21-16. But this match is much like the first match was, just reverse. Let's see, who do they got serving? That is Aldretti. Krenz with it. Miller to Reynolds, and she gets the kill. Kaylee Reynolds, the junior, slams it home, and now she'll get service. Great job by Kaylee Reynolds. 22 to 16 here in match number two, or game number two. Reynolds with the serve, Navarro. They're trying to set it up, and they do. Nice kill there by number 16, Deviana Rodriguez. She put the hammer down on that one, 22 to 17. Service will now go over to them, and this is Dejuve Belbosque. Jump serve, 
Reynolds, or not, I'm sorry, Stevens to Cadillo to Krenz. Krenz sends it over long. They're going to set it up for Navarro, and they slam it home. Navarro gets the kill, 22-18 to 18 now. Lockhart's got to be careful here. They don't want to let him back in this late in the game. Del Bosque will serve again. Cadillo to Miller. And they're going to say we were net violation. 22 to 19 now as it's getting a little scary here as Harlandale has climbed right back into the game. And we have us a match on our hands again. There's the serve. Krenz gets it. Miller to Young. They block it at the net. Cadillo gets it up. Miller to Stevens. Lopez. Oh, they tried to get the block, but they couldn't get it done. Number 16, Rodriguez was there to send it home. 22 to 20. Harlandale's right back in it. There's the serve, Cadillo with it. Ruggio, our Miller to Ruggio. Ruggio with the left-handed kill. It's 23 to 20. Now we're in the ball game here. And Abby Ruggio, after the beautiful kill, is now going to get service. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Carly Cadillo that has service. I didn't think it was Abby's turn to serve. Junior Carly Cadillo with service. She goes down the line, and it's an ace. It is an ace for Junior Carly Cadillo. That was a beautiful serve. 24 to 20. At least that's my count. There it is. We're going to take a real quick commercial break. We listen to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. We're back here at Steele High School in Cibolo, Texas. 24 to 20, the Lady Lions are on top. This has been a fantastic match. The Lady Lions forgot to show up for match number one or game number one of the match, and they just were like, not here. And they showed up early on in game two, and now they're up 24 to 20. Carla Cadillo is gonna try to get another ace to end this thing. Beautiful serve by Carla Cadillo the last time she served. There it goes again. They're going to set it up. Here comes Navarro, and she goes long. The Lady Lions will take game two, 25 to 20. Lady Lions, we're tied at one. We're going to take us a quick commercial break and come right back. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163. 163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Christ's Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Christ's Market ships nationwide. Stop by Christ's Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, Christmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. We're back here at Steele High School in Cibolo, Texas, where Rudy Cadillo is filming the student section, and they went a little crazy. And uh, 
this has been quite humorous because the two student sections are getting so into it. And uh, when one wins, the other one's talking. And when the other one wins, they're talking. Hopefully, it'll be the Lockhart kids talking the rest of the way. One game apiece. <laughs> I'm also enjoying watching Rudy Cadillo kind of pace around here. He's not stressed out at anything. <laughs> so we're going to bring on Rudy. Turn him up. All right, Rudy, what do you think? First game, second game. The first game was a completely different match than the second second one, as you can tell. Lockhart came. It's it's almost like a boxing match, back and forth, going back and forth. Lockhart did come back on the second in the second set to say, "Hey, we're still here. We're ready to play now. Let's start this over with." Oh, I I agree. And you know, it was almost like they were trying too hard in the first game, just hitting everything long and. Hopefully they're back now. Yeah, what I, what I noticed on Harlandale, they're a pretty sound team. They don't they don't make very many many mistakes. They kind of made a mistake here and there on the second set, but the first set they played it flawless, and they they were hustling to the ball whenever they had some missed passes. Oh yeah, and they've got some good athletes on this team as well. So it looks like we'll go ahead in game number three. Lockhart lost twenty five to fifteen in the first game. Second game went to Lockhart twenty five to twenty. We're here in game three where Abby Ruggier will start us off. There's the serve. Going to get it set up. They're going to Navarro. Cadilla with the dig. To Ruggio. To Shaw. They're still there, though. Lopez with the long hit. Long it goes. And it goes in. The kill goes in for... Oh, there was a touch. That's what he was saying. Yeah, they like uh, Sidney Shaw with the touch there on that one. So Rodriguez got the kill. Shaw was trying to get the, uh, the block but couldn't do it. It's one to nothing. Harlandell on top. And it will be Jacqueline Lopez leading it off for them. Cadillo to Ruggio to Krenz. They dig it right up. They're trying to get Aldretti. Shaw with the block. They stay on top of it, though. They're going to go deep with it. Cadillo gets it. Ruggio to Miller. Hall or Navarro's there. Aldretti with the hit. Nice dig by Cadillo. Ruggio to Krenz. They get it right back to Lopez to Navarro. Good dig on the back side to Ruggio. Oh, and then they just come. Oh, nice my set, God. Nice by Lockhart. Nice. What a great job. Cadillo gets it over. Navarro with the hit. And then Navarro finishes it off on uh, Miller there, making it two to nothing right now. Want to give a shout out our QA, Mitchell Padgett. Thank you for what you do, sir. And the serve goes in by Lopez. It hit the net, rolled over the top, fell in. It's now three to nothing, Harlandale. So far, it's kind of like you said, it's like watching Rocky and Apollo fight in that first fight. That is back and forth. Nice there by Lopez. Ruggio tries to get it up. Miller gets it over. They're going to set it up. Nice block at the net by Shaw. Here comes Harlandale. Cadillo it to Shaw. And Stevens, but it goes out of bounds. It's now four to nothing Harlandale here in game number three. Aldretti big in that, that sequence. Lopez to Krenz. It gets hit out of bounds. Ruggio with the save. Krenz puts it over the net. They're going to set it up. Navarro dinks it in. Miller's there. Ruggio sends it over. Lopez to Aldretti. Ruggio sets it up for Shaw. They dig it. And it's one more shot. I'll tell you what. Harlandale's all over the place. Krenz. It gets blocked, double it, yes, it went double. It's four to one. So Krenz will get credited with the kill. That last, that last hustle play that from Harlan, though, that's the kind of balls that I was talking about. I mean, they, they run to the ball, they run through the ball, they, they're out hustling us right now. Four to one, Krenz with the serve. Navarro to Aldretti. And we can't get it over the net. Now we do, barely. They try to get a block at the net. Navarro goes long. Navarro goes long. It's four to two. So Krenz will keep serve. 
Both these teams are really wanting this match. Prins with the serve, Navarro with the dig. Nice dive there. Aldretti just puts it over the net. Krenz, DeRuggio, Reynolds. They're going to have to hustle. They get to it. Lopez to Aldretti to Cadillo. Ruggio to Shaw. They block it. And they're going to say that we had four hits. Five to two. Harlandell on top. Navarro will get service. Navarro was big in the first game. Reynolds to Ruggio to Krenz. The ball's blocked at the net. You'll credit that one with a kill as they try to get the block, but it fell to the ground, making it five to three. Lady Lions clawing themselves back into it. Sidney Shaw, the senior, who had a nice run for us there in the second game, will have service. Shaw with the serve, Aldretti. They try to dink it over, and they get it in. A nice dink there by Serena Hernandez as she was able to get it over the, the net and into an open space at 6-3. to three. That's a lot of tip balls right there uh, between the right now and the third set. You know, from the first and third set is that we, we are not seeing. We should be able to recognize that. There's Medina with the serve. Oh, and she'll get an ace on that one. 7-3 Harlandale. Medina hit it right in between two of her girls, and they didn't know which one was going to take it. And they get the serve back. Cadillo, Aldretti, and it was a kill by Aldretti. Oh, no. He said the, the main referee said it went long, so Aldretti does not get the kill. The coach is questioning it. Seven to four is the score right now. We'll take that one, but we can't rely on those all the time. Brooklyn Miller with the service. Lopez, they're gonna set up Aldretti, and Aldretti will get the kill. Eight to four is the score. Aldretti is quite an athlete. She has been putting a hammer to it tonight, and she will now have service. Ruggio to Miller to Reynolds and Reynolds dinks it home making it eight to five now. So each of the first two games the teams ran away for a little bit and this one has just been back and forth. Yeah we still need to close the gap here a little bit though and also get on a little run first. Here comes Re or I, yeah, Stevens with the serve. Navarro they're gonna go Oh, gosh, I thought it went long. They said it went in. Rodriguez gets the kill straight down the line, making it 9-5 to five now. Harlandell. Dabasca, Dabasca with it. Kranz with, with the kill. They dig it right up. Oh, they're going to... They're going to say she had a double hit, so it's now 9-6. to six. So they get a point, we get a point. Back and forth we go. Carla Cadillo, the junior, will be serving. See what she can do for us tonight. And she hits the net. 10-6. 10-6 to six. Ten to six is your score here in game three. I have a feeling we could be looking at five with the way things are going. There's the jump serve. Cadillo with the dig. Miller to Shaw. Shaw with the kill. Shaw gets the kill, making it 10 to seven. The Lady Lions are down by three now. Ruggio with the serve, and it goes long. So like I say, we, they get a point, we get a point, just back and forth. Score is showing 11 to seven now. Lopez with the jump serve. Cadillo with the dig. Ruggio, Miller, and they get the block up there. That was uh, number two, we got the block. That is Galavis. 12 to seven, Harlandell on top. Lopez will keep service. 
There she goes. Cadillo. Ruggio dinks it over. They're there. They're going to dink it over to Navarro. Navarro goes. We need a timeout right here. She got it in. 13 to 7 is your score. Rudy called it. We're going to take a real quick timeout. We'll be right back. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports Food Vibe Magazine. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at Steel High School. 13-7, Harlandale's up in game three. Harlandale won the first game, 25-15. Lockhart won game two, 25-20. And right now, Harlandale has a slight advantage, 13-7 here in game three. And the student sections are still talking to each other. <laughs> Lopez is holding service right now for Harlandale. There's the serve, Cadillo, Ruggio, Shaw. Shaw gets the kill, 14, or 13 to eight. They tried to block it at the net, it went out of bounds, it's 13 to eight. Stevens checks out, Reynolds checks in. Callie Krenz gets the serve. And there's the kill by, Aldretti, I should have just guessed it was Aldretti. She's been getting the majority of the kills here lately. And it looks like we have, yep, number 12 serving again for Navarro. Cadillo with it. Reynolds, they dig it up. Getting ready to set them home. The dink, Krenz is there. Ruggio to Miller. Miller gets the kill, 14 to nine. Lockhart still battling, 14 to nine here. Sydney Shaw serving for Lockhart. Aldretti, she gonna try to get a back row hit. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio to Miller. Miller with it, and it is in. 14 to 10. I was able to make myself handy and get the ball there. Sydney Shaw will get service again, 14 to 10. Aldretti, they get to the back side. They try to get a kill. Reynolds was there for the block. Ruggio back to Reynolds. Reynolds with the kill, they dig it right up. Aldretti there. Navarro from the back line. Dug up by Ruggio, Miller with the dink and she gets it scored. The dink by Miller is now 14 to 11. Lockhart clawing back in. Sydney Shaw will keep service. And it goes long, 15 to 11. Shaw will check out, Cadillo checks in. Kind of been a game of slight runs both ways. Medina back in to serve. Miller digs it, Ruggio, Reynolds. They get it dug up, Lopez with it. Over to Aldretti, nice dig by Krenz. Over to Reynolds, and Reynolds gets the kill. It was Krenz's effort that kept that alive. Reynolds gets the kill. 15 to 12. Miller will be serving. Brooklyn with it. Lopez digs it up. They're going a little bit of a strong hit there. Young with the with the hit. They dig it right up with Lopez. Navarro. Cadillo gets it. 
Kranz, Reynolds, Reynolds, oh, Navarro with a nice one. Aldretti, Reynolds, oh, they got in the way of each other. 16 to 12, Harlan Dell on top. Aldretti with the serve, probably their best athlete. Krenz to Miller, to Ruggio, and it goes long. 17 to 12, Harlandell on top. Aldretti keeps the serve. Krenz digs it up. Miller, Reynolds, they get the block of the net. They're gonna set back up. Good job there by Rodriguez, but we get it back over. And long with the hit, that's number 15, Aguilar. Isabella Aguilar goes long with the hit. It's now 17 to 13. Harlandell on top. So while Aldretti is sitting, we need to make a run. Kelsey Stevens with the serve. Navarro digs it. They're gonna set it up. Rodriguez gets blocked by Young at the net. Oh my goodness though. Young tried to go over the net with it. And it was number 16, Rodriguez has stuck it right back over the net. It's now 18 to 13, Harlandell. Timeout, Lockhart with it, 18 to 13, Harlandell. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bright Magazine. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at Steel High School, Cibolo, Texas. And I was just looking on our uh, Facebook page, and I saw where our eighth grade football team is running all over who the heck, whoever they're playing. The McKinney kids scored two touchdowns already. 18 to 13 here. Harlandell on top. Medina with the serve, and she will get the ace. It's now 19 to 13. So Lady Adair, Lady Adair is in, and it goes out. 1914. Carla Cadillo will be serving. As as Rudy had said, Lady Adair is in the game for the first time tonight. Good serve, but they're able to get it back up into play. But it goes out of bounds. Kind of miss hit that was Medina. It's now 19 to 15. Actually, that was Del Bosque that hit it out. Cadillo keeps serve. 19 to 15. Uh, Lady Lions are down four. Del Bosque with it. They'll give. Oh, nice dink by Rodriguez, and it's 20 to 15. We're now in that time of the match where you cannot make mistakes. Calaviz will be there to serve. Cadillo with the dig. They're gonna set up Shaw. Shaw gets it in, but Lopez is able to get it back. Rodriguez to Miller. Ruggio to Krenz. What a dig. They, man, they're all over the place. And Ruggio with a nice hit, putting it in, making it 20 to 16. Good job by Ruggio there. 
I think it's 20 to 16. It should be 20 to 16. Yeah, it was just 20 to 15. There, there we, we go. go. And Abby Ruggio, that got the point, is now serving. Lopez. They're going to try to set up Navarro. They get a block at the net. Cadillo. They get it over to Shaw, so it was Ruggio that got it to Shaw, and she gets the kill. Lockhart clawing her way back in, 20 to 17 right now. Ruggio will keep the serve. Dabasque. Over to Rodriguez, nice dig by Ruggio. Miller to Krenz. Lopez, over to Rodriguez. Nice job by Cadillo. Ruggio, Shaw, Navarro, job by Ruggio. Krenz, Dabasque. They're gonna set it up to Navarro. Nice dig by Cadillo. Ruggio to Miller. And to set it up again, and there's the kill. Serena Hernandez gets the kill, making it 21-17. Harlandell on top. There goes the hit by Lopez. So apparently that girl's a freshman. Aldretti gets the hit. She goes long. It's now 21-18. I don't know if you heard our, our cheering section over there. They said they don't care that she's a freshman. <laughs> Krenz with the serve. Navarro gets blocked, but it goes straight down and it's gonna go point for Harlandell. 22 to 18. Navarro will have service. Navarro, Reynolds, Ruggio, Miller. They get it dug up. They're going to go over the net with it. Cadillo with a dive. Ruggio, Reynolds. Nice dig by Navarro. Ruggio dinks it over by Miller. Ruggio again. Here comes Aldretti. It's blocked at the net by Shaw. Krenz gets it. Ruggio to Shaw. Navarro gets it. These girls are all over the place. Krenz to Ruggio to Reynolds, and it's out. 23 to 18. This one's starting to slip away. Navarro has served. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller. Looks like uh, Hollandale right. was in the net. Aldredi was in the net. Aldredi, was, Aldredi in the net, 23-19. We've got to be almost perfect the rest of the way. Sydney Shaw will serve. There's the serve. They're trying to set up Aldredi. She dinks it. Krenz with a nice diving dig. Ruggio puts it over the net. Here they come again. Miller, Ruggio, Lopez digs it up. They're going to get it over there. Krenz with the dig, but she can't keep it in. 24 to 19. We're now at game point. Medina is on the serve. Cadillo, Ruggio, Young, Lopez. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio to Miller. And then it's in. 25 or 24 to 20 is the score. Nice job by Miller as she went diagonal across the court and put it in play. And now Miller, Brooklyn Miller, the senior to serve. And she hits it, it goes over the into the net. Aldretti tries to dink it over, Reynolds. Cadillo gets it to Miller, to Ruggio. They dig it right up. Aldretti, and Aldretti wins it for him. 25 to 20, Harlandale wins game three. 
We'll take a break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy, or trade. And now you know the best of the story. <clears throat> We're here at Steel High School in Cibolo, Texas. It's pretty sad that today's kids have to go to my era to bring out rap music to listen to. That's what I grew up on. My goodness. I got caught up in the, mo- in the song in the moment there and stopped doing what I was supposed to do. So we are now in game four. Game one, went to, they went to a Harlandale 25-15. Game two went to Lockhart, 25 to 20. We're back at game three. Harlandell takes it, 25 to 20. The good news is, whoever's on this side of the court where we're at wins. So it's time for Lockhart to win. And now everybody in Lockhart over in the student section has their phones on, their lights. We're about 45 seconds away from starting here, game four. We're putting in the work tonight, making sure we don't have any repeats of the last time. So I'm enjoying myself some hot tamales as we wait. And here we go. Lady Lions getting themselves fired up here for game four. They're down two games to one right now. It will be number two service for them, and that is Adrian Galavis. Here comes her jump serve. Stevens with it to Miller, to Krenz. They dig it right back up. They're gonna set it up to Navarro. Nice hit by Navarro. She gets the kill. One to nothing, Harlandale. That girl's got to recognize that early. They have to recognize that. We cannot let them be t- tipping the ball like that on us all night. Here comes the hit, and they hit it right into the net. One to one. Abby Ruggia will get service here. It is one to one. Lopez. Nice block by Shaw at the net. Rodriguez was trying to go over. And another dink. Another dink there. That one was by number four, I believe. Del Bosque making it 2-1 to one, Harlandale. Lopez will be serving. Friends, Terugio, Miller over. Lopez. And Aldretti gets the hit. Cadillo dug it up. Shaw gets the kill because they couldn't get the block. Two to two is your score. Callie Krenz will get service. And 
Here's her jump serve. Almost got an ace. Aldretti with the kill. Aldretti's had a lot of kills tonight for him. Three to two, Harlandale. Navarro will be getting the service. Here it comes. Reynolds, Miller to Shaw. They get a block. They're gonna say we had net, we were in the net. So now it's four to two. Now the referees are gonna talk. Waiting. They're going to keep it with them. Harlandale gets it. Navarro with the serve. Padillo to Ruggio to Reynolds. They set it up. Rodriguez. Up at the net. Ruggio gets it. Miller. They're going to set it over. Ruggio. To Miller, Ruggio tries to get the kill, hits it in the net. Five to two, Harlandale. So Navarro will keep serve. Reynolds to Ruggio to Cringe. They get it right back. Art Aldrete. Friends gets it to Ru uh, Ruggio to Shaw. They're scrambling around to get it over. They do. Navarro got it over. Shaw or Ruggio to Reynolds, and Reynolds gets the kill, making it five to three. Nice job there by Reynolds. Ruggio on the set, and it will be Sydney Shaw with the serve. Five to three. Lady Lions are down two. Lopez, Aldretti, Franz digs it up. Aldretti again, Ruggio digs it up. They're going to Reynolds. Reynolds with the kill, Reynolds with another kill. It's five to four. Five to four, Sidney Shaw will keep service. I like seeing it. There's the hit. They're gonna set it up. Nice job by Shaw in the back line. Reynolds again. Navarro with it. They're gonna try for the kill. Rodriguez with the kill. Or check that, Aguilar with the kill. Isabella Aguilar, six to four. Brian Herman, football coach down there, one of the biggest cheerleaders on the end line there for the girls. Medina with it. Miller digs. Ruggio. And what a great job there by Kia Young. That short set. Kia Young with the kill. Six to five. That ball, that ball was put down pretty quick. Yes, it was. Miller with the service now. Brooklyn. Nice set. Aldretti, but she goes long. Aldretti tried to get us back. It is now six to six. Brooklyn Miller keeps service. Lopez. Navarro, job by Cadillo to Miller. Krenz, but she hits it in the net. Six, uh, seven to six, Harlandale back on top. Here they go with Aldretti, Miller. Job there by Young. Young will get the kill. Seven to seven.
They're going to get the dig up. Over to Aldrete. Check that. That was Aguilar with the kill. Check. They did not get it. It's eight to seven right now. Reynolds with the serve, and it goes long. Eight to eight. It's just been back and forth here in the fourth match, or the fourth game of the match. Yeah, Scott, for us on the offensive side, we got to keep the ball in play. Our serve has got to be in. We cannot give any unforced errors. That's going to be number four, Del Bosque. Miller to Ruggio. Lopez. They're going to serve it to Navarro. Miller. Carla Cadillo puts it over. Somebody lost a shoe. <laughs> it's Ruggio. Ruggio playing with one shoe on, and she gets a kill, and her, her dad, Sean Ruggio, is excited about that. Nine to eight. Abby Ruggio gets a kill with one shoe on. One shoe, throws it in the stand, comes back, and just spikes it on Harlandale. I think her dad liked that. So here they go. Carla Cadillo, they're going to try to set it up to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez gets the kill with a touch off Miller. It's now nine to nine. What a game it's been tonight, back and forth. Galavez goes long with it, and we will get it back. Ruggio with both shoes on now with the left-handed jump serve. Galavez. Gets it to Rodriguez. She sends it long, and in it goes, 10 to 10. <laughs> 10 to 10. I think Lopez will be serving this time. There's their jump serve. Cadillo with a dig. Ruggio to Shaw. Lopez will dig it up. They're going to send it over. Miller, Ruggio. Uh, good gosh, I, I just lost my train of thought. They get the kill in, and it's now 11 to 10 as Navarro was able to send it home. It was Miller that kept it alive there, but they're up 11 to 10 now. Lopez with the serve. Cadillo, Ruggio. Cadillo again. Navarro dinks it home. It's now 12 to 10, Harlandale. And for the first time tonight, number 13, Michaela Leva checks in, the sophomore. Lopez will get the serve, 12 to 10, Harlandale. Leva. Leva, oh, and she goes along with the hit. 13 to 10. Timeout, Lockhart, 13 to 10, Harlandale. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. All right, we're back here at Steele High School, 13 to 10, Harlandale on top here in game four. If Harlandale gets the win, it's over. So Lockhart's gonna have to claw their way back into this one. Lady Lions get onto the court. Lopez has the serve. Here comes Lopez and her jump serve. Leva to Ruggio to Krenz. Krenz gets the kill, but Lopez gets the dig. Back we go, Cadillo to Ruggio. Nice block up front. 
Miller tried to sneak it over. Lopez to, oh no. That was number 12, Navarro. She stuck it home in the back over Leva. 14 to 10 is the score. They will stay with the service. Everybody has played tonight in this game. Friends, Ruggio, Shaw with the kill off the Ruggio set, 14 to 11. Calic we got to cut into this lead. What's that? We have to cut into this lead right here. Yes, we do. 14 to 11. Calic Renz. They dig it up. Tried to go to Aldretti. Miller. I think that ball would have been out if Brooklyn let it go. Cadillo. Lopez. Back over by Reynolds. And they got in the way of each other. It's now 15 to 11. Har uh, Harlandale on top. We always make a little mistake right when we needed something big. Navarro will serve. Reynolds, Ruggio. They're gonna go to Aldrete. Krenz gets it. Ruggio, Miller. Miller with the kill. Good job by Ruggio to get Miller the ball. It's now 15 to 12. Lockhart's gotta make a run here soon. Sidney Shaw, the senior, will get the serve. That's hard to say. Sidney Shaw, the senior, with the serve. Here we go. Lopez. They try to get the ball. Krenz with it. Ruggio, Reynolds. They dig it up with Navarro. Here they go up front with, oh, they, good job as we were trying to get the ball there to Hernandez. She puts it in the net. It's now 15 to 13. Sydney Shaw will get the serve again. The senior. Aldretti, here she comes again. A block by Miller. Aldretti tried to get the kill. Miller got the block and down it went. 15 to 14, the Lady Lions are right back in it. Thanks to Sydney Shaw's service. Sydney again. Aldretti. She's going to get a chance at it. She hits it right into the net. We are all tied up at 15 right now. Sydney Shaw is on a run for us. See how many S's we can throw into this for the senior of Sydney Shaw <laughs> and her service. Here we go again. Navarro. They're going to try to hit Aldretti. Oh, and they dink it in. And it counts. Hernandez got the dink in. It's 16 to 15, Harlandale. So just as we tie it up, Harlandale goes right back on top. Medina's in the serve. Here comes that jump serve. Nice ace right there by Medina. Miller couldn't get to it. 17 to 15, Harlandale. When we get to the end of the game tonight, we will have the Chuck Nash Offensive Player of the Game. Oh, the girls got into each other's way. It's now 18 to 15. We will also have the Farm Bureau Defensive Player of the Game. Medina keeping serve at 18 to 15 for Harlandale. There's the jump serve. Miller, Ruggio, Reynolds, and that's four hits. 19 to 15. Harlandale starting to run away with Medina serving. Lockhart will call timeout and we'll take one. Be listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KNX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain and Body, we won't steer you wrong. 
For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at Still High School, beautiful high school here in Cibolo, Texas. It's 19 to 15 Harlandale. Lockhart called a timeout. We'll see if we can bounce back after this timeout here. The only time Lockhart's really been in control was in the third or second match or second game there. Medina still has service. Cadillo to Ruggio to Reynolds. They get the block of the net by Rodriguez. They're going to try to get it from the back line of Navarro. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio to Reynolds. They dig it right up. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller, and Miller goes along with it. 20 to 15 Harlandale. Now we're in that scary time of the game. We're down two to one. It takes three to win. Medina has service still. Miller, Ruggio, and Young goes long with the kill. So it's now 21 to 15. Lockhart better get a stop here quick. We're just giving points away. Medina stays on service. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller. And Miller gets the kill. So they get life. 21 to 16. Miller with the kill. Ruggio with the set. That'll bring up Brooklyn Miller, the senior, to serve. Navarro, Aldretti, they get it set up. Young, Lopez, and the kill by Aldretti, and they're not able to run it down. 22 to 16, Aldretti with a, just an awesome kill there for Harlandale. Running out of space here to make any mistakes. Aldretti with the serve, Kranz gets it. Miller to Ruggio. They're setting it up for Aldretti. Kranz gets it. Miller to Reynolds. Reynolds goes long and it's now 23 to 16. 23 to 16. Ruggio. Aldretti with the serve. Krenz with, or Miller, I'm sorry, Reynolds with the kill. Reynolds gets the kill. It's 23 to 17, and Reynolds will now have service. Crunch time here with Reynolds. Rodriguez, they get it up there. Oh, my gosh. Nice kill by Aguilar. Isabella Aguilar with the kill, making it 24 to 17. Lockhart is needing to score every point from here on out or it's over. There's the service. Stevens to Miller to Ruggio. The block, Ruggio. Oh, and it hits the ref. And that is your ball game. Hollandale will end the season for Lockhart. 25 to 17 is how this one will end. We're going to hit our sponsors, and we'll be back with the offense and defense of players of the game. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports Food White Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. 
Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at uh, Steele High School in Cibolo, Texas, where the Lady Lions season comes to an end as they lose three games to one. Um, you know, we were bouncing around. So many people could have gotten the, the awards tonight for offensive and defensive players of the game. But um, going to have to go Farm Bureau defensive player of the game with uh, Junior Carla Cadillo with all the digs she got in the back row. Uh, just had a big night there in the back. Um, you know, Cali Crins could have put her name in there for it as well. Sydney Shaw at the front of the net. Just a lot of girls played well. But I'm going to go with Carla Cadillo as the junior uh, defensive player of the game for Farm Bureau. Chuck Nash, offensive player of the game. Um, again, so many could have been named. A lot of girls with big games. But I'm going to have to go with Sydney Shaw, the senior, up front as the offensive player of the game. Uh, number of kills, a lot of service points for us. So those are the two players of the games for Lockhart. The Lady Lions will fall to 28 and 11 overall. Um, it was a great season. First time in 12 years that they made the playoffs, but it almost looked like that the, the nervousness kind of took over a lot of the times. And my hat's off to Harlandale. That team is scrappy. They don't make very many mistakes. And if you do, they make you pay for them. So yeah, they play sound volleyball. I mean, you saw it here tonight, pass the ball well. Again, they hardly made any mistakes. Um, when they did, they recovered. Right. And then, you know, you know I've got to say, and I've got, let me find her real quick. Mar- Miranda Aldretti was probably the player of the night. That girl's athletic. She carried that team. And uh, she's one to watch, especially if you're a college recruiter listening Aldretti, if she hasn't signed somewhere, she needs to because she's a great player. Uh, so good luck to Al Harlandale on uh, Friday night as they will continue on in the playoffs. Again, the Lady Lions season will come to an end. I want to thank our QA, Mitchell Paget. I want to thank Rudy Cadillo for all year long, just helping us with scores, coming in and kind of talking here tonight, helping me the last home game when I had my insulin reaction. I appreciate you, man. Thank hey, you very much. You're welcome, and thanks for having me out here again. I mean, this is fun. I love doing this, um, and hopefully I get better at it. Very good. Well, we, we, we still may have soccer to do, so we'll see. Yeah. We'll still. Oh, yeah. Looking um, forward to soccer. Um, and then here we go. Going to get out of here with this. Rudy Cadillo, Mitchell Padgett. And then can't do this. Again, I about went into panic mode tonight when I didn't know if she was going to you know, get here. McKelty Altier, senior. The girl is fantastic with what she does. I appreciate her very much. I hope she understands that and realizes that. Uh, she did a great job. She has all year long. And then for myself, Scott Smith, we want to thank everybody that listened tonight and wish you well. Friday night, we have boys football, Kerrville Tivy at home, last home game for the Lockhart Lions. Uh, come out and watch that. If you can't get there, listen to us. We'll go live at 7 o'clock. Um, and then the kickoff will be at 7.30. Again, thank you for listening. Everybody have a safe trip home. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAC Sports through Vite Magazine. Good night.